There's a lot of people at fault. Uh, the cops have made some mistakes. Uh, black people have made some mistakes. Until we stop, have to, we have to sit back and be honest with each other. The cops have made some mistakes that don't give us the right to riot and shoot cops. We need the cops, especially in the black community. We as black people, we've got to do better. We never get mad when black people kill each other, which that always has bothered me. It has always bothered me. And then somebody's going to scream like, well, you can't change the subject. Well, first of all, I've never changed the subject. I've always said we as black people, if you want respect, you have to give each other respect. You can't demand respect from white people and the cops if we don't respect each other. So uh, I, I, we got to do better as black people. The cops have made some mistakes. Uh, but there's a lot of blame to go around. But I'm not going to get on TV and yell uh, like all these other idiots. Because, But I'm willing to sit down with anybody and have a constructive criticism. How I always tell myself as a black man, Am I part of the problem? Am I part of the solution? And if I'm out doing illegal stuff, stupid stuff, I'm part of the problem. If I'm helping young black kids go to college like I'm trying to do, uh, if, if I'm giving money to causes to help young black men get it, I know I'm part of the solution. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. But you have to ask yourself, are you part of the problem? Or are you part of the solution? I respect and admire what cops do. My my bodyguard is a cop, a black cop. We talk about situation all the time. And one of the problems with this, this stuff on the media, all these people are Monday morning quarterbacks. And you know what they are, Dan? They're Monday morning quarterbacks because they don't have the stones to play on Sunday. Everybody say what I would do or what I should do. I think some of these cops are panicking under pressure. Uh, you know, because I had a real in-depth conversation about my, with my bodyguard about the gun thing in Minnesota. You know, Dan, I'm a gun guy. And he always warns me, he said, do not put your ID where your gun is. He says, what I think, and I'm not saying, and he says, I don't know whether we think the cop is right or wrong. First of all, everything is happening in fast motion. Everything's happening. Everybody get to sit back and see what happened. He says, what I think happened was that cop said can i have your id and then the next thing he said was i have a gun and he reaches and i think the cop just panicked i know but charles they're more likely to panic around black people because there's a fear well, of Dan, black because people. in fairness some black people out there they are crooks now you can't sit there and act like all the at first i'm not saying in that situation there's a reason there's some, and I'm not saying that's right either. There is some reason why there's racial stereotype, because some of these black people out there are committing crimes. Let's don't sit there and act like all our hands are clean. Let's say, let me say, no, me, but Charles, that you can't be profiling like that. I understand man, what you, these guys are. They're dealing with criminals every day, and that's easy for you to say. That's easy for you to say. And like I say, I'm not saying they should racial profile guys. I'm saying that's wrong, but I'm saying. We can't jump to conclusions every time, like, it's because a guy is black. First of all, there is racial profiling. There's always been race, racism. There's, and first of all, there's racism on both sides. Let's get that straight. But to just assume, first of all, if you go back and look at that thing in Louisiana, I think those cops clearly overreacted. But there's no doubt in my mind if I'm fighting with a guy and I hear somebody scream gun and I got a gun, I'm going to shoot the guy. And like I say, the cops probably did overreact in both situations. But we got to we got to look at the big picture. Let's work with the cops because we need the cops, Dan. If it wasn't for the cops, we'd be living in the wild, wild west. And let me get this right. Cops have made mistakes. But as a black person, every time you try to say, hey, listen, we still got to do better. But like I say, and like when I say, why don't black people get mad when we kill each other? And I'm not trying to deflect or place blame. That's just a fact. That's not true, Charles. That's yeah, it not, is true, that, Dan. Why don't, Dan, first of all, you're not black. I know I'm not black, but that's not true that black people don't get mad that other, that other black people are killing black people. That's we not don't, true. We don't have near the outrage we do when a white cop kills somebody. Dan, I've been black my whole life. Most black people I know are killed by other black people, and I've never understood why there's not this more outrage the way we treat each other as black people. 
It can be both, Charles. It can be both. But, Dan, first of all, if you're going to sit on TV and say there's the same moral outrage when black people kill each other, when white people kill each other, that's just disingenuous on your part. 